Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Sage Marie, and welcome to a Minecraft adventure map called Detective Dan and the Murder on Saffron Lane. So here are the map makers, JL Sticky 1135 and Unlucky Bacon. So those are the map makers. Okay, let's see. Not multiplayer, this is single player. Uh, okay, I am playing in single player, plus I know this is a short map. Rules all sounds 100% except music. Where are my sounds? Sounds, everything except music. Hold on, hold on. Turn that up a little bit. Okay. Don't change difficulty. Don't change game mode. Don't cheat. Don't take my head. Give us some love. And if you're Dan Tedium, like, no, I wish, but I am not Dan Tedium. You are Dan West, a great detective that is only stunned by his wife's murder. You've been working at the agency in Woodcliffe for a while now, and everything has been quiet until you turn on the radio to hear something shocking. By the way, this takes place in the 1980s. The date is June 3rd or March 6th. I don't know where they're from. Oh, for the dumb people, June 3rd. Okay. So, yeah, June 3rd, 1981. Uh, follow the objectives and hint, do not... Do not poo me cool. No clue what that is. P.S. Step on gold blocks to talk to people. Don't get off one and back on or else it will keep spamming. So where's the play button? There it is. Did you read everything? It's important. Yes, I did. Alright, here we go. Unlucky Bacon and J.L. Sticky 1135 present Detective Dan and the Murder on Saffron Lane. You. Hmm. Turns on radio. Breaking news! For the first time in five years, at 10.30 last night, a murder has occurred on Saffron Lane. We've been told the killer has gotten away. We've been told the killer has gotten away. Okay. Victim 23-year-old Stacy Birch died from a gunshot to the head. Telephone rings. You. Unbelievable. Anyway, should probably get the phone. It's probably the agency. New objective, get to the phone downstairs. What's in here? It's the bathroom. But I don't have to go, so go down here. Is the phone? Oh, that's a clock. Uh, where's the phone? Oh, this is a phone. Ah, here we go. You. Picks up phone. Hello, this is Dan West. Dan, we need you at the crime scene right now. I'll be right there. New objective. Go to your garage through the door under the stairs and go to the crime scene. Press me. You insist. Ah, here we go. Vroom, vroom. Ooh, now I'm in town. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, man, I haven't been in the city in a while, but this looks sketchy. Okay, well, time to go to the crime scene. Alright, so here we are in the town, I guess. So, I guess we'll talk to this guy then, because he's the first person here. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? I have to click you or something. Oops, sorry, dude. Closed for health issues. Okay, guess we can't talk to him apparently. For 24 hours. Robbie's guns. Should I just go to the crime scene? Okay. Where is the crime scene? Aiden McFart. That's a good name. Birch Manor. Police line. Do not cross. Officer. Paul Millsack. Oh. Yes, I would. Hello, Dan. The crime scene is upstairs. I would go check it out. She got shot in the head and the bullet is still sticking out. You should try to take it out for research. Why is that my job? Ew. Alright, I'll check it out. Alright, here we go. Okay, I'll meet you upstairs. Go upstairs to check out the crime scene. That took forever. Ugh. It's already up here? That was fast. Here she is. I bet she was pretty before all the, um, you know. Yeah, so what exactly happened here that night? Well, it looks like the killer was hiding in the corner, waiting for Stacy to get out of the room, and then bang! The bullet gets stuck in the head, and no one wants to take it out. Luckily, the kid wasn't here. He was sleeping over at a friend's house in downtown Woodcliffe. Okay, man, that's crazy. Still can't believe there's been a murder. Anyway, any suspects? Yeah, here's a book. A cool guy made it for me with all the suspects' names in it and more. Suspect. 
Newanks. Johnny Newanks, where he was. I was in my apartment working, where you can find him in his apartment building. Julia Gongles, where she was. I was closing up shop at Julia's Juice, where you can find her in Julia's Juice. Tommy Rizzo, where he was, signing the papers from my restaurant, it was closing down, where you can find him right outside of Tommy's Pies. Alden McFart, where he was, Walfart My Life, I Dare Derp, where you can find him inside of Walfart Groceries. Robbie Boulder, where he was, just running my gun shop, where you can find him inside Robbie's Guns. Michael Birch, husband, where he was, out of town on a work trip, that's everyone you need to talk to. Love your friend, Paul Nosek. You can talk to all those people after you check out this house and see what clues you can find. Just do your thing. You're a good detective. Oh, thank you. Okay, thanks, Paul. No problem. I will be up here if you need anything. Tips. Do not talk to Tommy last. New objective. Look around the house for clues and take the bullet out of his head. Okay, how do we get this thing out? Oops. How do we get you out? How do I get you out? Hello? How am I supposed to get this thing out? It's just sitting there all creepy. There we go. Bullet. Alright. So let's go in here, I guess. Where the heck did the bullet go? I just had it. Huh. It's weird. Is there anything in here? Apparently not. This is Michael Birch. Oh, it's just sitting here. What the heck? Just chilling in midair. Hello, can I have that back? Oh my god, it's the funniest thing ever. Give me that. Come on. What the? Alright, I finally got that son of a biscuit back. So I guess that means we must be done. Talk to you. Can I steal that? Hello. Can I talk to you? Mm, apparently not. So I guess we'll check out the suspects. So it also said do not talk to Tommy Glass. We'll do him like third or something. Let's go in here first. Sup, bro? Yes. Yeesh, it reeks in here. Hi there, I am Alden, owner of Walfart Groceries. How can I help you? Hi, I'm Dan West, detective on the Stacey Birch case. I was wondering if I could ask you some. Hi there, I am Alden, owner of Walfart Groceries. How can I help you? Um, you just said, Hi there, I am Alden, owner of Walfart Groceries. How can I help you? This guy's nuts. Hi there, I am Alden, owner of Walfart Groceries. How can I help you? He's slowly back away so he can reach the door. Glad I got out of there. That's pretty funny. What's over here? HPD. Can I talk to this guy? These are my fellow bros. DNA scanner. Can I talk to this guy? Man, prison straight up sucks. Like, I asked to go to the bathroom, and they're like, oh, we don't have one. And I'm like, uh, what the frick? Sounds painful. Like, you wouldn't believe. Man, I shouldn't have said I was a Nazi. Well, that was a pointless conversation. Yeah, let's get out of there. Alright, where to next? Johnny's apartment. Alright, let's go in here. Johnny Newings. Okay, we'll talk to this guy. Hello, welcome to Johnny's apartments. The elevator's down, but the apartments are up. I don't need an apartment. I'm Dan West, a detective on the ca on this case of Stacey Birch. I need to ask you some questions. Alright, hit me. Where were you last night at 10.30? Not creepy at all, but I was in my apartment working. Are you close to the Birch family at all? Well, I live right down the street from them. Other than that, no. 
All right, thanks. Bye. All right, so he's not really much help. Elevator's broken. Okay. We'll go talk to Tommy now, I guess. We'll just get him out of the way. All right, we'll talk to him. What do you want? Okay, wow, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Sorry, it's just my restaurant got shut down. Okay then, may I ask you some questions? Um, alright. Oh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dan West, and I'm a detective on the case of Stacy Birch. Okay, that makes more sense now. Where were you last night at 10.30? I was signing some stupid papers for my restaurant because it was closing down. Textmaster 1000, if it stops right here, just go to another suspect. This may be just a corrupt chunk. Oh, not really, but I knew Michael a bit, so I must have asked, do you know the Birch family at all? Okay, tell me about Stacy. Well, she was quiet. She stayed at home, and she just got laid off her job. Thanks for the help. See you around. All right, so I guess we'll go talk to this guy. Robbie Boulder. All right, we'll talk to him. What's up? What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Dan West, a detective on... I'm a I'm a detective on the Stacey Birch case. Can I ask you some questions? All right, sure. Where were you last night at 10.30? I was running my gun shop like always 24 hours, baby. Okay, are you close to the Birch Bear? Not really, but that poor kid Mark must be devastated. All right, then I'd like to know what gun this bullet came out of. That right there is a Deagle bullet. All right, then I'd like to know the purchases of that gun in this last week. Let me take a look here. The last couple of purchases of the demo was Alden, Johnny, and Michael. All right, thanks for the help. I'll be on my way. No, here, I always thought Michael was out of town. Hmm, he interesting. Come on, let me out. Ah! Come on, let me out. Why am I so slow with the iron doors? Come on, let me out. There we go. All right. It's in here. Ooh. Just some random place, I guess. Julius Juice. Okay, we want to talk. Yes. Hello, welcome to Julie's Juice. What can I get for you? I won't be needing anything. My name is Dan West and I'm a detective on the case of Stacey Birch. May I ask you some questions? Okay, then ask away. Let me guess. Yeah, where were you last night at 10.30? I was closing up the shop because we closed at 10.15. Okay, are you close to any of the Birch family members? Yes, I am. Stacy and I grew up together, and we were great friends. Oh, I didn't know you were close to her. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, well, see you later. Okay, well, that's everyone. I should go test the cup I found at the crime scene. I don't remember finding a cup at the crime scene. I guess I should have found a cup at the crime scene. Well, let's go look. Find something. Apparently there's a cup. There it is. Whoops. Wow, this is perfect. I'll test the DNA station after I talk to everyone. Well, I already did, so we will test this. Beep boop, beep boop. Calculating. Scanning complete. DNA equals Johnny Newex. What? Johnny? He seems so nice. This doesn't seem right. I should go 
back and talk to him again. New objective, go talk to Johnny again. All right, well, we'll talk to Johnny again. I found a cup with your DNA on it at the crime scene. Care to explain? I've been framed. I swear I didn't do it. I have never been in their house before. I think I believe him. There's no way he did this. It just doesn't make sense. Pick an option. Believe him or lock him. Oh, I get to pick? I believe him. I don't think he did it. Okay, I believe you. Stay out of trouble. New objective, go talk to Paul at the crime scene. Was that a, was that a wrong choice? Because it just seems kind of stupid. Because it's just like, you know... It's like, oh, I didn't do it. Oh, I believe you. It's like, does that actually happen? All right, up the stairs. Oops, and I just fell down the stairs. Okay. I'll talk to him now. Hey, Paul found a cup with Johnny's DNA. I went to confront him, and he said he was framed. I think I believe him. I don't know, Dan. I'm going to have to trust you with this one. Oh, it's all on me. It's so much pressure. Actually, I know Johnny's not the killer. Then who is? I don't know yet, but it's between Tommy and Alden. Why don't you go to Stacy's room and look for more clues? New objective, go check out Stacy's room. Complaints. This looks like a copy of why Tommy's pies got shut down. That's a motive. I should go talk to you, Tommy. Whoops. Okay. Dear health inspectors, I recently went to Tommy's Pies and realized really how bad their food is. When we got there, I ordered a lemonade and I got some weird yellow substance that tasted like pee. I ordered a chicken pot pie and the chicken was raw and the next day I got food poisoning. I ordered a strawberry pie for dessert and I got these weird brown strawberries that tasted terrible. I'd like you guys to go there and check it out. I'm Stacy. Alright, so new objective is to talk to Tommy. So we'll go talk to Tommy. Wait, where'd he go? He was right there. Hey, he's got whoa. Hey, he's gone. I think he knows that I'm onto him. Wait a second, what's that crack down there? Maybe I can slip through. What the heck is this? Hello, what the heck is this? Oh, is this some kind of puzzle? Oh! Well, well, well. Looks like you found my little hideout. I knew it was you, Tommy, right from the start. You were a thief, you stole my heart. Pink reference. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oops, wrong person. Anyway, why? Why did you do it? Why? Why did you do it? Two reasons. One, I wanted to. She was shutting down my restaurant, my livelihood. Two, ZM told me to, me too. I do what he tells me to, to do. He, who he tells me, he, oh, I can't speak. I do what he tells me to. He, he orders, I deliver. Who in the holy god of Notch is ZM? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> anyway, gotta run. Not so fast. You just admitted to the murder of Stacy Birch. You're going to jail, mister. Aw, oh, crap. We finally got him. Yay, we got him. Yeah, nice job, Dan. I knew you could do it. Thanks, Paul. Yay! Dun, 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 dun. By the way, we got another case. Who's Brad? Oh, over there. What is it? To be continued! Yay! That was fun! That was really cool. Oh, click here to check out the redstone or go back to the lobby. Let's check out the redstone. Oh, click here. Click, like, click in the redstone button. Alright, here's the... Whoa! That's a lot of redstone! Ooh, that's so cool! That was a really fun map. Sweet. 
Thank you guys very much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!